Hi, my name is Paul Danahy. I'm responsible for go-to-market in EMC's data protection and availability solutions organization. I'm sure some of you have given thought to VPLEX in the past and it wasn't the right product for you at that time, or some of you haven't yet given any thought to it. What I wanted to do was spend maybe a minute or two with you and share some ideas of why VPLEX makes a great deal of sense for a large number of customers and maybe ignite some thinking on your part of, why, of how you might be able to use it. So there's two real reasons people leverage VPLEX. They're easy to understand. One is for what we call continuous availability. Continuous availability. We ensure that data is accessible even under dire circumstances, and I'll get into that in a minute. The other is about mobility. In, in real essence, data mobility. And I will give a couple examples of both of these in the next couple minutes. First, continuous availability. What's the simple storyline? Let's say I have two data centers, data center one, data center two. They're linked together. In a traditional environment, if I lose data center one, I have to go through a lot of work to bring that second data center back online. With VPlex, it's a very different storyline. I can create a cluster that stretches over distance across both these data centers, a single cluster running. And in the event that this data center were to fail, the surviving nodes in that cluster would continue to operate at that second data center. It's a really powerful mechanism for ensuring that users get as high a degree of uptime as humanly possible. Now, a few months ago, we introduced a new technology that leverages this and goes one step beyond it, and we call it MetroPoint. I'm going to write it out. And what does MetroPoint bring to the table? It brings to the table the ability to combine these two sites with a third site with RecoverPoint. And this site literally can be anywhere on Earth. We can take these two sites and link them via RecoverPoint to a third site for operational recovery as well as disaster recovery. So even if we've built this metro-based environment with VPLEX and I lose both sites, whether due to an extreme storm or due to uh, a, a large regional power outage, I will have a third site available in order to do my operational recovery from. So it's kind of a belt and suspenders technology solution. Let me give you now the reasons why you should be thinking about VPLEX from a data mobility standpoint. Now, there's two simple reasons. One is tech refresh. I suspect many of you take old arrays and go to new arrays on a regular basis. Now, why you go to new, of course, is to take advantage of new features, new functionality, better performance, et cetera. The challenge you face is it takes a long time, you have to schedule outages, there's a lot of risk involved, and ultimately it takes a long time to go from the old to the new. With VPLEX in place, you can literally do that migration non-disruptively. VPLEX will take the data out of the old array, bring it over to the new array, invisible to the host. The host will be continuing to operate while this process takes place. They will continue processing data out of the old array. As we move data into the new, and once we've final, finally moved all the data into the new, we will disconnect the old array and continue to operate off the new array. We've never shut an application off. We've never had to uh, reconfigure the hosts in order to operate. We don't have to change device drivers and host bus adapters. We don't have to go through uh, a planning process. We don't have to schedule outages. What used to be a complex process becomes a, a steady state environment that your, that your users can leverage. So it's a really neat solution. VPLEX for tech refresh is a very, very powerful conversation that we have and people leverage. The other thing is, oftentimes people will have different applications that require different levels of service. And you, I suspect, are possibly taking advantage of this because of the introduction of things like Extreme I.O. from EMC, where you get incredible performance and availability. 
The puzzle is, oftentimes people will have older arrays that aren't at the same performance level of extreme I.O. And, and sometimes they'll want to take an application that's on an old array and move it over to the extreme I.O. box. The challenge is, that's oftentimes a disruptive process. With VPLEX in place, no longer is that process disruptive. We can literally, while hosts are accessing the application, we can literally move that whole application's data set into the Extreme I.O. solution. And customers can then take advantage of the incredible perform performance attributes of the Extreme I.O. device. Once they're done processing that and it's time to move another application in, VPLEX can move that old application out, move the new application in. So it gives you a substantial benefit in the sense that you can now take advantage of Extreme I.O. for applications that may not have originally been leveraged it, when the thinking took place for Extreme I.O. Now, of course, this doesn't have to be Extreme I.O. This can be any array supported by uh, VPLEX, whether it's an EMC array or third party. But certainly in the, the, the world that we have today where all flash arrays and Extreme I.O. is so popular, this is becoming a very popular solution for people. The ability to, to dynamically move data in and out of different arrays. So I just want to share a couple thoughts with you. Continuous availability data mobility. If you want to learn more, I would welcome you to come up onto emc.com and look up VPLEX. Thank you.